we're following news circulating on social media of a neo-Nazi group looking to hold their holiday party next weekend in Altoona. Irvin Hinckley is following this story. He joins us now live from Altoona. Now, Evan, what more can you tell us about this group? Well, good evening, Amanda. Keystone United, formerly known as Keystone Skinheads, is a group that refers to themselves as a white supremacist group. And after a little research, we found that since the group's founding back in the early 2000s, there's numerous cases uh, of charges being filed against group members, including assault and intimidation of certain races. This flyer, appearing on social media, advertises a holiday party for Keystone United on Saturday, December 14th from 5 to 10 p.m. somewhere in Altoona. I think it's very sad, and I don't even understand why these people want to do this stuff for, because our country is getting so divided as it is, and I just think it's a very sad situation. The Southern Poverty Law Center calls the group one of the largest and most racist skinhead groups in the nation, citing assault charges against group members who've beaten up African Americans in the past. The most recent incident occurred in July of 2016, where six group members, including two from Central PA, punched and kicked a black man at an Allegheny County bar, calling him racial slurs. That saddens me to think that we would have a group that would uh, come out and basically, uh, you know, confrontational. We, we don't need to be confrontational in this day and age. We need to be open minded and we need to realize that uh, we all created equal. We should remain that way, you know, regardless of color, or race, or anything else. Many in the community feel the group's message doesn't mesh with the holidays. It just takes from um, the the joy of Christmas. It should be a joyful time and a and a happy time. This just takes away from it. That's all. What possible holiday or, or what God or what Savior could you possibly be celebrating? This season should make us all look at the man or the woman in the mirror and ask, you know, how are we treating our fellow man? And both Altoona and State Police tell us they are aware of the group's plans to meet here next Saturday. Reporting live here in Altoona, Evan Hinckley, WTAJ News.